What's poppin' Rob Television? Welcome back to this channel. As you can see, man, I'm back with another Larry Legend reaction video. Man, this is an interesting video, I'm pretty sure, man, because I reacted to Larry Bird, Angriest Moment, where he was going to be his Bill Lambert and um, Dennis Rodman yesterday, so I'm pretty sure this video is going to be lit as well. But I ain't going to talk y'all the dope, man. I'm pretty sure, just like with Dennis Rodman, this is a long list of people, and I'm going to be getting them reactions out there that disrespect the GOAT and later came to regret it. But you know what we do over here, man. I ain't gonna do all that talking. But before we get into the video, do me a big, big, big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, click that post notification bell. We notify on all things rock television. Let's get into the video. Shout out to my man right here, too. Because I've reacted to a couple of his own videos that he made. So, like, salute to him, man. Make sure y'all, you know, if y'all watching this video, yeah, Basketball Time Machine, make sure y'all subscribe to him and show him some love, man, because I'm getting content out there for you guys hey, because he getting content David. out there. David, thanks for tuning in. Let's talk Salute, some Sean, David. basketball. In today's episode, I want to talk about the rivalry between Dennis Rotman and Larry Bird. A rivalry that some way, somehow, kind of got forgotten over the years, but really had it going on back in the days. So that is the topic for today. But before we start, a quick How many people did rob me out of the you guys for supporting the show. It's really appreciated. And I would say, let's dig right into it. All right, you guys. I'm watching my videos. Huh? Nah, just playing. <laughs> back to 1987 when Dennis Rodman was a 25-year-old rookie drafted by the Detroit Pistons with a 27th pick in the second round. Since Dennis never played for an elite college, not too many NBA teams knew about him. In a scouting report, he was described as a diamond in the rough, a player that had a lot of heart, a great athlete, but somebody was simply lacking the skills. So when the Pistons decided to pick Rodman, Dennis was intimidated by the star power of the Pistons. The Dennis Rodman of the late 1980s had a totally different personality than the Rodman we knew from his Chicago Bulls days. The 80s Dennis Rodman was more like a child playing a lot of video games instead of going out to the clubs with his teammates. But the one thing that Dennis really spent most of his time with was working on his game. He knew back then he would not outskill anybody, so his entire plan was to simply outwork everybody. But the beginning of his rookie that, season was really tough. Not receiving many minutes, and also the NBA game was obviously a lot tougher and quicker than in college. But I didn't let that discourage me, you know, because I know I'm a rookie and everything. Every little thing I do is going to be a mistake, so I just got to go out there and play. In the second half of the season, I've been doing real well. Yes, he was. After struggling in the first half of the season, Rotman's hard work really paid off, and he made it into the eight-man rotation of the Detroit Pistons. Now receiving over 20 minutes a game, after only getting about five to ten minutes in the first half of the season, Rotman was now entrusted with special defensive assignments. Coach Chuck Daly realized what a potential Rotman had on the defensive side of the floor, and because of Rotman's quick feet and his relentless attitude, it made him the perfect player to guard some of the elite forwards in the NBA and one of these elite forwards was well of course Larry Bird. Larry Legend. Going against Larry Legend Dennis was always super motivated and really wanted to prove so bad that he belonged and that he was able to stop the best guys in the league and he had a lot of success with some of the best players but with the matchups against Larry Bird in his rookie season well they were more like Can't send a pup up out there to bang with the big dogs, man. This not only happened to him, it happened to a lot of other ones too. If we take a look at the numbers, you can see that when the Pistons and Celtics face each other in the regular season that year, that Larry's numbers clearly speak for itself. Rotman, who got Larry for the majority of the time when he was on the floor, didn't stand a chance. Though, he had one nice slam on Larry, which is worth mentioning. Be a shot, sure does find the soft spot in the Celtics defense to get open for those outside shots. McHale, who had 20. And a steal by Rotman. Three on one for 
break. Thomas and Rodman gets the basket and Larry Bird with his second foul of the game. At that time, the Celtics Lakers reign was slowly shifting and the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons were on the verge of becoming a champion. But for the Pistons, in order to make it to the finals, they would have to beat the Celtics. And that was exactly the problem. In the 1987 playoffs, both the Celtics and the Pistons met in the conference finals. And even though it was a seven game series, Larry Bird was the most dominant player in that series, averaging 27 points, 10 rebounds, and seven assists. Dennis Rodman on the other Almost hand, a triple really double, tried his man. best to contain Larry Bird, just like the rest of the team, but he wasn't ready. Now after the 1987 playoff series between the Celtics and the Pistons, Dennis Rodman had some really controversial comments about Larry Bird, but Isaiah Thomas took the blame for it. So you done went and went public with some disrespect towards Larry Legend, man. Now, if you was a student of the game, you'll realize it's just certain people you don't trash talk. Just let your game flow. And Larry Legend is one of those people, man. Come on, man. You should have known there was going to be consequences behind that. Larry Legend really hurt the Detroit Pistons. The bad boys came so close just to end the series empty-handed. Also in Game 7, the Boston fans were mocking Dennis Rodman for his obviously too happy celebrations earlier. They're imitating Dennis Rodman right now in <laughs> celebration. When Rodman was asked about Larry Bird after the series, Rodman said that Larry Bird was overrated because he's white. Isaiah Thomas, who wanted to support his teammate, basically confirmed what Rodman said and received a lot of media backlash. But when Larry Bird was asked about this, he said he didn't care, and so shouldn't you. Now, if there's one thing that we know about guys like Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller, or Larry Bird, it doesn't take a lot to motivate them. This is Don't exactly at all. what they need to take the game to the next level. And Don't even at all. didn't say anything more about Rotman's comments, you knew that Larry was ready. In hindsight, it's kind of funny that one of Larry Bird's biggest endorsements back in the days was, well, Rotman. I kind of laughed when Rotman asked me to do an escort commercial. You see, I'm six foot nine. An escort's about four foot six. When Robin gave me this escort with these special options, at this price, well, I had some face to save. So I called this number and told Robin straight out, I'd rather drive this escort than sell it to somebody else. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, Rodman knew that Larry was coming for him and the Pistons. And the Bad Boys were already the best defensive team in the NBA. Also, that Bad Boys brotherhood Just like good enough. support Rodman and do whatever it takes to stop Bird. But you simply can't stop a legend. Especially when you had already ignited the flame in him, man. You just can't. Maybe if you kept your mouth shut, he would not went off like that. He got them all off their feet. Too easy. Too easy, coach. I need somebody else to hold me, coach. That's what Bird should have said. I need somebody else to hold me, coach. He too, he too easy. Then he said, okay, so now so now he equals out. Because you seen Rodman got the little dunk on Bird. Of course, you know what I mean? That's kind of hard to stop, you know what I mean? But Bird got his get back. With the block on Robin. I don't know which one happened first, but I mean, it kind of almost evens out, you feel me? In my opinion. Fuck it. Now, you ain't got to jump up that player. <laughs> you ain't got to jump up there. going in. Up and under, don't, man.
that was yellow turn to that ball and Larry was doing was yelling at his teammates, I'm over Mario before they noticed nobody's guard. <laughs> Hey, I was just, I was just saying it. I knew it. You know what I mean? I knew it. I knew it. I was just saying that. And he was out there saying that for real, man. Coach, you better get this guy out and send in somebody who's going to D me up because it's too easy when I'm wide open like this. I was just saying that, man. <laughs> now we all know how Dennis Rotman's career turned out to be. He's a Hall of Famer and probably one of the best defenders who ever touched an NBA basket. And rebounders. Now in 1991, when Larry Bird was at the end of his career and Dennis Rotman at the peak of his athletic and defensive abilities, Bird would not dominate Rotman anymore. Still, I think it's fair to say that Rotman really had to give all he had in order to stop Larry. And you just have to respect that from both sides. I'm saying now, I shouldn't have said it then, but, but I, I said it when, you know, he, he was a great player. I mean, he, was, he was fantastic, and of course, uh, you know, he was at the right place with, you know, him and I think they had a great, great, great battles and stuff like that. But, but it took me maybe two or three years to get to know Larry Bird's, you know, his moves and how he tries to suffocate you and do certain things. But he used to give me every, I mean, when my rookie year, he used to call me out, boy. He used to call me out. Like I was like, Alright you guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and just don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also click on that notifications button so you receive an email once I upload a new video. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye. Whew, man. All I can say is, Rodman, you should have kept the comments to yourself. But that is it for this video, man. If you did enjoy this video, do me a big, big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, click that post notification bell. Just like my man said, that way you will be emailed on a notification whenever I upload. Appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm about to stay. Gang.